Hello, everyone. Thank you for coming up to today's partner session. I'm Rebecca Mayorino, Commercial Manager of Shipping and Fulfillment here at Shopify, and I'll be moderating today's session. Now, for those of you who have to cut out halfway through the webinar or your connection drops, we'll be recording the webinar and sending it to everyone in a couple of weeks. So let's get started. On the agenda today, we'll be covering at a high level what is Shopify shipping, how to sell Shopify shipping to your clients. We'll be doing a product walkthrough, so I'll give a demo of using Shopify shipping within Shopify, and uh, how to qualify a client, and looking at the shipping hardware, some, some great items that can be purchased uh, to help with Shopify shipping. And then finally, we'll be diving into some questions. So what is Shopify shipping? Essentially, Shopify shipping is the ability to buy and print shipping labels at pre-negotiated rates when fulfilling orders. So let's dive a little bit deeper into that. Why Shopify shipping? First off, there are no subscri subscription fees or surprise costs with Shopify shipping. Your clients can ship as much as they want and only get billed on their monthly Shopify invoice. So this also means that they don't have to worry about about any per label costs or extra subscription fees. Next, we have automated tracking for customers. This allows merchants to provide their customers with tracking information, delivery updates, and delivery notifications. These are all sent to your client's customer in real time. Shopify shipping also includes the lowest shipping rates from trusted carriers. So we at Shopify have done the rate negotiations on behalf of our merchants. Using Shopify shipping allows merchants to save money and not have to walk to the post office and buy the shipping labels themselves. And finally, a feature that was just rolled out in September, bulk label printing. This is one of the top feature requests by our merchants, and so far, feedback has been very positive. Bulk label printing uh, allows merchants to buy and print multiple shipping labels at once, prepare shipments in advance, and create custom forms for international orders. All right, so now how you can sell Shopify shipping as a partner. As you can see here, we've partnered with three of the top carriers, USPS, DHL Express, and Canada Post. Each offer unique savings that increase by plan. With US merchants, you can save up to 46% when shipping with USPS. They save up to 65% when shipping internationally with DHL Express. And for those Canadian merchants, they can save up to 40% when shipping with Canada Post. The fact that these savings increase as you upgrade Shopify plans is a great selling point when pitching a higher tier, tiered plan to your clients. Now I'll highlight the top three features of Shopify shipping. These are three that you should definitely remember when pitching Shopify shipping to your clients. First off, there is no setup required. Shipping labels in Shopify works out of the box. So there's no need to connect to another account or create a new login. Merchants simply have to choose the mail class they want to use, and the shipping label is ready to print right within Shopify. Next is the ability to manage shipping all from one place. Merchants use one login to manage all of their orders, and Shopify takes care of tracking every part of their order down to the smallest shipping details. And finally, Shopify allows merchants to skip the line at the post office. Merchants can prepare shipments in advance, and at their convenience, print labels from their desktop or home printer or using um, one of the thermal label printers. I'll talk a little bit more about hardware um, in a few minutes. So now that we've talked a little bit about Shopify shipping, let's do a product walkthrough to show you how it works. Uh, actually, we'll start here on the home screen. So as I'm sure you're all familiar with, this is the um, home for Shopify. And to get started with Shopify shipping, you'll need to go down to the settings tab and then to shipping. So the shipping settings page is where most of your shipping settings will be edited and where you can essentially uh, enable Shopify shipping. So to start, it's really important that a shipping origin address is included. So this is important because this address helps calculate the shipping rate. You also don't uh, aren't able to use Shopify shipping unless there is an address included here. So as you can see, we've included uh, a New York address, which is where I'll be shipping from. 
Next is the zones and rates. So as default, we have domestic um, shipping zone and then rest of the world uh, as well. So if you're looking to add a shipping zone, you can click add shipping zone here. However, if you want to simply edit the shipping zone, you can do so as well. So if you're looking to edit the specific shipping zone already listed, these are our default options. So we'll go ahead and edit this one here. As you can see, we have uh, domestic listed with um, all states and territories in the United States. So if you go to edit, you'll see that all states and territories are pre-selected and you can on your own um, unselect those that you don't wish to ship to. So we'll go ahead and leave all of them selected. Now, if you scroll down, we have price-based rates and weight-based rates. So we hear often that merchants are looking to uh, offer free shipping, and this is where that, that'll be done. So if you go into price-based rates and click add rate, you can see here that um, you have the option to uh, create your own custom price-based rate. So let's say we want to offer free shipping for purchases over $100. We'll write free shipping here. That's what customers will see at checkout. And then a range. So we'll say $100 with no limit, meaning that customers will get free shipping for orders over $100. So we'll add that in there. And then finally, we see the calculated rates here. So for domestic orders based with the US, we have USPS um, discounted rates for Shopify shipping. So you can go ahead and edit that. And you can see here all the classes that are offered with USPS. So they're all pre-selected, but if there are certain classes that you don't wish to use, you can uncheck them here. You also have the option to uh, adjust the rate yourself. So depending on if you wanna increase the rate by uh, a certain percentage. You can do that to cover um, shipping and handling fees or potentially some packaging um, that, you're, that you're paying for. So you can increase that by 3% or um, however much you'd like. Or if you'd like to offer your customers a discount on their shipping labels, you can, uh, you can use the minus percentage for, for that option as well. So we'll leave it back at zero. And we also have the option for a flat fee as well. So this is all up to you. However, keep in mind, you are still paying for the shipping labels. This is simply what is being displayed to your customers. So just to summarize our domestic zone, we've got all states and territories offered, all orders over $100 that are domestic are free, and um, all USPS classes are available. So we'll go ahead and save that. Great. Now going back to the shipping settings page, if your client is looking to also ship internationally, we have um, this option as default rest of the world. And with international orders, um, based out of, the, out of the US, you can use either DHL Express or USPS. So as default, we have 240 countries pre-selected, but if you wanted to change that, you can go to edit. You'll see all countries listed. If you want to add countries or customize that, you can do that as well. But for now, we'll just leave it at rest of the world. Again, you can do price-based rates, weight-based rates, and finally, the calculated rates. And for international orders, you see the list of classes for USPS. And then with DHL Express, we have worldwide, which is great for um, short delivery. So we'll go ahead and save that. and head back to our shipping settings page. So moving down a little bit, we have the shipping label section. So the label format allows you to select how you would like to print your shipping label. Keep in mind, these are official shipping labels and will be printed and purchased right from Shopify. So depending on what your printing setup is, we have two options here. The default is eight and a half by 11, so this is if you're using your home printer or desktop printer and um, you're simply looking to print the labels um, on a standard uh, 8.5 by 11 sheet. 
or we have the four by six option. And this is if you are using a thermal label printer like a Dymo or um, roller printer. And these labels are printed in the standard four by six size. So I don't have a Rolo printer or a Dymo printer, so I'm gonna go ahead and just click eight and a half by 11 since I'll be using a desktop printer. Next we have packages. So when you're fulfilling an order, you'll need to choose a package that makes, uh, that matches the type of, um, that matches what you're currently using and packaging your item in. So most carriers charge by size and weight, so it's important to keep your package um, as small as possible. So out of the box, we have the sample box that's set at default, but we can go ahead and create our own box size. So this is a sample box here. We can edit that or simply add a package. Depending on the type of product you're, uh, you're selling, you can select either box, envelope, or soft package, and customize the length, width, height of that box, as well as the weight as well. Uh, you can name that box, so for example, cube box or um, jewelry box, depending on the types of products that you're selling. We also offer flat rate packaging. So if uh, your client store is based in the US, they can use USPS flat rate packaging. These flat rates are priced and determined by um, the package that is chosen and weight must be less than 70 pounds for these. With flat rate packages, you're only charged for the price of the flat rate box or envelope and not the weight of the package or the distance that it has to travel. So these are deep uh, predetermined prices. So we'll go ahead and leave the sample box there for, for now. And then at the bottom here, we have additional shipping methods. So we have integrations with Postmates and Uber Rush for local same day delivery options. So you can activate those if you have um, a lot of local customers um, who are looking to get their orders you know, within the same day or same hour. All right, so moving on, we'll go to see an example of what a checkout would look like. So for example, let's say someone within New York is ordering um, an item from um, this particular store and wants to check out. So this is an example of what it would look like. The customer is based in New York, so that would be a domestic order, and they ordered five red hats. The order comes out to $100, 117 total, and uh, as their shipping method, they have the option to choose either free shipping or one of the um, classes available with USPS. So like we did earlier, um, all orders over $100 are free, so this customer sees the option of free shipping and the checkout is updated. So they also have, depending on how fast they'd like to get that order, other options as well. Let's say for this order, they'll like to use USPS Priority Mail for $7.96. So once that order has been placed, the merchant can then view the order on the orders page. So you can go ahead and click orders. And here it is, order number 1010 for a total of 117.54. So to fulfill that order, you can click on the order number. As you can see here, the order details are displayed. You can see that they paid the 796 for shipping and then the customer details as well. The payment was accepted and all that's left to do is click start fulfilling. Great. So as you can see here, we have the package options. For me, I only have sample box, but if you were to add other package options, you can select them here in the, um, the package and weight section, as well as the, the weight of the item, as well as the box um, calculated here. For the merchant, they have the option to choose a number of different services. So as you can see, we have USPS Priority Mail as an option or USPS Priority Mail Express. So very similar to at checkout, those are the same prices that were displayed to the, to the customer. So that means that we're gonna be paying exactly what the customer is paying um, when purchasing that label. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose this option. As you can see, um, this option includes 
tracking insurance for up to $100, and then if we want, signature confirmation. So we'll select that one as well, just to have that option included. Keep in mind as well, for some merchants, they don't wish to fulfill uh, or ship their items uh, immediately, so you can also update the shipping date depending on when you plan on, on shipping that item. So once that's all ready to go, you can see the summary of your order. Priority mail, we chose that option. Signature confirmation, as well as your plan discount. So like I mentioned, depending on what plan your clients are on, they'll get a, an appropriate discount uh, for how much they're saving from um, because they're, they'll, they're using Shopify shipping. So the total of the label is listed here. And again, a reminder, we've selected eight and a half by 11 inch paper as our label format. So we can go ahead and buy the shipping label. Great, so now we have the shipping label purchased. You'll see it right here with the green check. And if it's time to print, we can go ahead and click print label. So here you can see the label um, that will be printed, and because I used eight and a half by 11, it's um, displayed here on a standard sheet. So going back to the orders page, remember when I mentioned the ability to prepare orders in bulk? Where this is, well, this is where that's done. Bulk label printing allows merchants to select up to 10 orders at a time and fulfill them in bulk. So let's say, for example, it was a busy day and a lot of orders came through, and as a merchant, you want to be able to fulfill them all at once you can actually select more than one order at a time. So let's say we'd like to fulfill all four of these orders. You can go ahead and click them all and then select bulk actions and then create shipping labels. So very similar to the um, previous option, all labels will be displayed here. So you can customize them based on what package you'd like to use or what carrier you'd like to use. But the workflow is, is quite similar, other than the fact that they're all listed here. You can go ahead and buy all four shipping labels by clicking this button here. And then print four shipping labels. So given that I had the eight and a half by 11 option selected, you can see the labels will be presented one on top of another, and once you press print, all four will be printed um, at once. So that's it. Um, once the label's printed, all that's left to do is to stick it onto your package and drop it off at either the nearby post office or mailbox. You can also request a pickup if, um, if you're interested in that, and for merchants shipping internationally with D. HL Express, pickups are offered for free. So now we're going to jump back into our slides. And talk a little bit about how you can qualify a client um, to use Shopify shipping. So given that you're most likely working with a number of different types of clients, here are the three main points to remember when evaluating if Shopify shipping is a good fit for them. First off, they must be shipping from either the US or Canada. Keep in mind, we're growing our list of carriers and plan on, on expanding beyond the US and Canada. Next, they ship up to 10 packages per day. This volume is where Shopify shipping, uh, sorry, they ship up to 100 packages a day. So this volume is where the Shopify shipping workflow makes most sense. So anywhere um, from you know, one order a week all the way up to 100 orders a day is, um, is our sweet spot for Shopify shipping. And then finally, they're shipping their products themselves rather than drop shipping them. Finally, we have our shipping hardware. So as I'm sure some of you are already familiar with the hardware store, at hardware.shopify.com or .ca for Canadian merchants, we have a shipping page. We have a variety of uh, shipping hardware that can be available to your clients. Um, I've pulled up four of my personal favorites. We have the Rolla label printer here. So when I mentioned the four by six labels that were in the printing settings, 
this is the type of printer that um, would be ideal for that scenario. So um, when you click print, these these printers print out um, labels themselves that are peelable and, and quick to, to use in packaging. The same thing goes for the Dymo for Excel, another um, favorite for our merchants. We also offer a number of different shipping scales for really accurate um, product weights. And then finally, one of my personal favorite, the Shopify shipping labels. These were uh, designed by Shopify and um, best for sort of the starting merchant who wants to use their home or desktop printer and um, can simply add those to their printer and um, have the ability to print multiple labels, but be able to peel them off uh, given that we've created them in a way that um, allows you to peel off the exact size of the label. So this saves time from having to, you know, cut the labels off the sheet and then tape them back onto the boxes. All right, so just to tie things up, uh, just as a reminder, before we jump into our q and I just wanted to remind you all of the three main features of Shopify shipping. So if you can take away three points from this webinar, these are definitely them. There's no setup required with Shopify shipping. It's simple and baked into the platform, just like you saw in my demo. Merchants can manage their shipments all in one place. And finally, Merchants can skip the line at the post office because buying and printing a label can all be done within Shopify. So that's it for the webinar and time for our q and I'll be passing it over to Louis, who is our head of shipping services, and Mike, one of our UX researchers for our Shopify shipping. So the first question is, does this work outside of the US? Thanks, Rebecca. Nicely done. Hey everyone, this is uh, Louis Kearns here on the uh, on the shipping team. Um, thanks uh, for joining us today. First and foremost, um, Shopify shipping does work outside the U.S. today. It's available in Canada as well. Um, certainly, the uh, the goal is to be live in as many countries as possible and to serve the largest base of merchants and their customers as uh, as possible. So, um, as it stands today, uh, it is only available to U.S. and Canadian merchants, but um, uh, expect it to uh, turn on in different markets with different carriers uh, in the uh, months and, uh, and years ahead, certainly. Hey guys, uh, Mike here, a user experience researcher on the shipping team. And again, echoing Louis' point, thanks a lot for joining the call. Um, Re Rebecca did a great job explaining all the features and functionality, and uh, my job is to actually talk to the merchants that use the product. So we learned a lot about uh, what's working for them and, and the things that we need to improve on to keep making this a better product for our merchants. Uh, so a question from John here, with reference to larger items such as furniture, can you charge by individual item? Um, so that's a great question and it's a, a common, common scenario where merchants have a variety of different uh, product sizes. Um, something that uh, Rebecca touched on is the concept of weight-based rates. So weight-based rates can be used to trigger different rates based on the weight uh, of the actual order. So if you're adding weights to products, um, the weight-based rates will pick up the weights of the products in the order and they will add that to the box that's chosen as the default box. Uh, those in combination will trigger a weight-based rate. So uh, if you have a large piece of furniture uh, and it is heavy, you can actually trigger specific rates to capture um, the greater shipping costs for a larger piece, such as a piece of furniture. Uh, we also hear a lot about some great apps that merchants are making use of. So some apps are, are filling some, some uh, areas of functionality that uh, are requested by merchants, and some popular ones we hear a lot about are uh, Shipping Easy, um, Parcelify, um, Boxify, so there's lots of great apps out there as well in the app store, so um, if Shopify isn't quite meeting your needs as far as some of these more specific features, um, feel free to check out the app store and there's all kinds of great content in there. One of the questions that we received here asks, how does this pricing compare to some of the other apps uh, that fill the void in the app store? Um, great question. Uh, we're not going to comment on any individual apps pricing. Uh, however, we can mention that the rates that are uh, offered on Shopify shipping are heavily discounted. Um, they're also discounted uh, to a certain extent based off of the Shopify plan that the merchant is on. So 
the best possible rates that we can offer are available on the advanced plan um, and competitive rates uh, are available on the Shopify uh, basic plan. The Shopify plan itself is about halfway in between, um, but for common services like priority mail and first class package service, uh, it's the same uh, lowest commercial plus uh, discounts that we're actually allowed to offer by the carrier. So uh, you likely will not see better rates uh, out in the market than what Shopify provides for those um, two very popular mail classes. Uh, for DHL Express, um, uh, above and beyond the very low negotiated discounted rates that are offered, um, Shopify is running a uh, promotion until the end of the year whereby to um, the most common uh, international destinations um, for one and two pound items, the uh, pricing is capped out at $30. And in fact, uh, for a couple of destinations, it's capped out at $25. So for DHL Express specifically, where we're talking about um, uh, industry leading uh, service and um, very fast uh, international delivery and customs clearance, uh, it, it will be very hard to find better rates uh, uh, out in the wild than, than what are currently offered and, and sponsored by Shopify right now. This one here from Nicole. Uh, Nicole's asking Do all weight based calculator rates and price based rates work together or is it more one or the other? Uh, that's a great question, Nicole. So uh, essentially at the time uh, of checkout, whatever rates are relevant to the contents of that order and the customer's location will trigger shipping rates which appear at checkout. So um, you'll want to make sure that ideally that you don't have a lot of overlapping rates or potentially conflicting scenarios. Um, really we want to make sure that the checkout process is easy for customers to understand. Um, so we've got to review the shipping rates that we're setting up uh, and even go through some test checkouts to see what would happen in different scenarios. Um, but we really want to make sure that, uh, it, you know, it's a great experience for our merchants customers and, a, and an easy checkout experience for them is one in which um, they're not seeing a confusing rate matrix. Bastra asks, how does this affect your relationship with Shopify partners such as ShipStation, Shipping Easy, Order Cup, et cetera? Um, great question. Uh, so there's um, you know, many different shipping apps in the App Store, and uh, a lot of them will offer independent and um, uh, specific uh, flows and unique value propositions to merchants. Uh, one of which is the ability to bring in and hook up your existing carrier accounts um, and all offer different uh, pricing models. So um, we have very good relationships with all of our app partners. We've been fairly transparent with them about our strategy of um, offering shipping built into Shopify as a core feature of the platform. Um, the vast majority of Shopify stores are shipping physical goods and uh, fundamentally we believe that um, they should have the tools within the platform to help uh, them with that with that process. Um, that being said, uh, we um, encourage those apps to continue to differentiate and offer unique value uh, propositions and features. And uh, ultimately, it's the merchant's choice as to whether or not to use an app or to use Shopify shipping or a combination therein. Um, and uh, that's one of the one of the beautiful things about the um, partner community and and uh, uh, the app ecosystem is it's uh, you know it, it, it's a um, uh, it can be a hybrid approach, or merchants have that uh, ultimate choice as well. We've got another one here around, uh, so what are merchants saying about Shopify shipping? How does it actually affect, or hopefully in this case, optimize their, their shipping workflow? Um, so I've had the, the good fortune of talking to countless merchants about shipping. Um, and many users of Shopify shipping and a pretty consistent story for, for a lot of them is that um, they can do everything from within Shopify. So Rebecca demonstrated just how integrated Shopify shipping is um, and how that fulfillment workflow of buying labels um, all ha happens in one place. And um, currently for those that aren't using Shopify shipping, they're either going to the post office, um, which is a separate job and waiting in line at the counter uh, and having to deal with all that, um, or they're using another service, which could be another website, another product, or another app, which means moving around in different places and copying and pasting information back and forth. So um, the real benefit for merchants and the thing that they really appreciate the most is the 
fact that they can go right from their order page through to having their label printed out, um, you know, in, in a minute and getting out of the box and maybe never even having to leave Shopify. And that's kind of what we're really building for is that um, you never really have to get out of your workflow. And we're going to continue to be making it easier so that there really shouldn't be any reason to go anywhere else to handle any of your, um, your shipping needs. Sam here asks, can you talk a little bit about how calculated shipping works when a customer selects multiple products? What are some of the best practices to ensure that a customer gets the best rate when multiple items can be combined in one box? Great question. Um, so calculated shipping is really built to be um, uh, a pass-through on uh, the shipping rates that uh, the merchant would receive uh, when they were actually fulfilling their, uh, their order such that they were not making or losing any money uh, at the time that they were accepting their order. So that is one of a few different uh, shipping strategies. It's probably the most conservative. Uh, and as such, that is the default for new stores. Um, we used to have defaults of flat rate $10 shipping. Um, we're actually seeing carry calculated shipping rates uh, convert quite a bit better than our original defaults. That being said, it's not the strategy for everyone. Um, depending on the type of goods that you're selling or your industry or the amount of uh, uh, competitive um, uh, or the nature, the competitive nature of the industry or the number of other uh, merchants that may be selling your product, your rating strategy uh, for shipping may be uh, incredibly important to your ultimate success. And, um, you know, certain merchants will have different thresholds as far as what they're willing to, uh, to make on a per item basis. Um, uh, for margin and um, uh, some may be comfortable losing a few sales in order to make a little bit more per sale, uh, whereas others are just looking for the, the highest number of sales possible. So um, a shipping strategy is really unique to the merchant themselves. Um, going a little bit deeper on carrier calculated shipping, so the way that it works is it takes the items uh, that are in the cart and the weight associated with each of those items um, and it will do a rate lookup um, uh, against the Shopify shipping uh, rates that are turned on for that particular destination uh, and return all of the rates that uh, the merchant would actually have when they were purchasing a shipping label but this time on the checkout to the customers. Uh, so it's really a sum of the, um, of the weights of the product and it takes the box that is marked as the default box within the shipping settings and between all of those criteria, the dimensions of that default box and the weight, it will calculate those rates. So that's how it currently works. Uh, in the future, there will be some additional logic that will allow um, the box to be determined dynamically uh, on checkout. So it will not be limited just to the default box. So um, expect uh, some improvements uh, and uh, uh, even more accurate rates uh, on checkout that will be even more deterministic of which items can fit into which boxes. So uh, as it stands, products do not have dimensions. Uh, in the short term future, products will have dimensions and those will impact the boxes that they will ultimately fit into and uh, ultimately drive down the price of shipping shown to customers on checkout as well as on fulfillment. Uh, Nicole here has another question. And uh, thank you for that, Nicole. Appreciate the questions. So Nicole's asking, can you set two different shipping methods within one store? Let's say you have a company with many divisions. One product may be a small testing equipment product, but another may be chemicals that can't be shipped. Is there a way to set a rule for individual products? So I guess a, a couple things to this question. Um, one, there's the ability to specify that a product itself isn't shippable, uh, and that lives on the product page itself. So that if that product's contained within an order, um, it's not going to pull shipping rates for that product. Um, and then the other part of that question is uh, specific rules for different types of rates um, for different products. Um, that is something that we, we hear a lot about and, and have heard for, for quite some time. Um, there are apps uh, previously mentioned in our app store which do support that functionality. So if you want to create very specific rules for, you know, this product triggers this exact rate. Um, that functionality exists um, from some of our apps. It is uh, a request that we uh, definitely are aware of, though, and, and, and something that, um, you know, uh, we know is, is important to merchants. And, um, yeah, so we are, we're totally aware of it. Uh, thank you for the question. 
And uh, hopefully at some point in the future, we have better solutions for that. But in the meantime, our apps are doing a great job of, of addressing those points. Uh, John asks, as an app developer, will there be any integrations with the Shopify shipping system or are there already APIs available? Uh, good question. Um, as it stands, there is no uh, formal way to integrate with uh, Shopify shipping's labels um, to be able to build an, uh, an app that pulls those down. Uh, it is a request that we've had a couple of times, so it's something that is definitely on our, our radar. Um, unfortunately, we don't have an answer for you at this stage, uh, something that we are thinking about but uh, have not yet made a, a decision or um, exposed to the, uh, to the partner or app community at this stage. That being said, if this is something that um, any of the partners on the uh, call are interested in, we'd love to get a better sense of what the demand could be um, just to help us prioritize that internally if uh, that's something that we decide to do. All right, so that's it for the Q&A. Thanks so much for attending. For those who are interested, we have another webinar coming up on November 9th called Working with Clients, How to Become a Client Whisperer with Carl Smith from Brew Digital. You can register at the URL below. Thanks again, everyone. Hope you all learned a lot and have a great rest of your day.